Yes, absolutely. There is some hope because uh, the chief of the Mossad, Dadi Barnea, is meeting with the chief of the CIA, Chris Burns, the prime minister of Qatar, and the head of the military intelligence of Egypt. And usually when these meetings are on top level, uh, then that means that something is moving, some traction is happening, as you mentioned. And this is the hope here, but nobody knows exactly uh, what is uh, the topic, the exact topic of discussion in the inner chamber of uh, those uh, places in Doha where the negotiations are taking place. But as uh, in previous weeks, there's going to be a rally here with uh, members of the families of the 134 hostages that have been held in captivity for 169 days, uh, among them 35 confirmed dead. Uh, and again, time is pressing. Bring them now is the motto. Uh, and, you know, the hope is that this meeting and this particular meeting is going to bear fruit. Yeah. And, and Pierre, while uh, this demonstration is uh, taking place, we're also seeing uh, for several weeks now a parallel uh, protest um, against the government, a uh, renewed wave of protest, if you will. Um, of those uh, uh, prior to October 7th uh, massacre. Right, because as long as the war drags on and uh, the consensus was that uh, while we shoot, we don't shout, uh, now things are changing because people are realizing that the war in Gaza is uh, on a lower intensity level. 80% of the troops have left the Gaza Strip. That means many reserve soldiers have left, amongst them some who were uh, very active during the demonstrations against the judicial mm -hmm. overall. Uh, so uh, the hope of the organizers of this demonstration in Kaplan Boulevard, which usually ends with uh, closing the Ayalon Highway in Tel Aviv, the hope is that reserve soldiers will join in yeah. to the demonstration and move forward with the call of elections now.